Hi guys, it's Amy from Amy's Little Bit of Everything. I'm back! Jazz hands! Ah, Silk floppers! Fishy lips! And butterfly! You do you and I'll do me. That's the best part of this world. And that's why how God made us. So, there! We'll have a wonderful day thinking that way. Why am I rhyming? <laughs> Okay, it's one of those days. I need to go outside. I need to work this off. I need to take a bear outside and go for a walk. Hold on. Let me check and make sure it's not raining. And like I said, he's fine. He has his bed out there, but he's on the back deck, and our back deck is very nice. But anyways, all right. I got another Timu, so let's get started. We're going to start with some dinosaur socks. Um, I'm going to give these to Henry's mom because I know he'll love seeing her wear these. They were 95 cents. I'm going to give them to her for Christmas. It's just a little something, you know, nothing big. But I know I was going to keep them, but I know he would love seeing her wear them. So I'm going to give those to Abby. And I don't know if I want to put them. I don't want to put them back in that bag. Okay. I'll just put those over there for Christmas items. And then I got a tin roll. You know what? I didn't get that tin roll yet. Um, I got 10 roll ribbons and they haven't come. You know how I'm doing my packaging in, um, uh, brown paper sack packaging wrapping this year and then going to wrap it up in, um, pink and mauve and this kind of a ribbon and the red is in there. I got it. I mean, it came as a package, so I'll probably use it for, um, I about said use it for Thanksgiving, use it for Valentine's day or something. I always use ribbon and actually this is a Valentine pack. I just now saw that. Said four rolls Valentine Day wired ribbon, six dollars and seventy four cents. So I'm gonna use that to wrap my presents with. And then I got these really cute shoes. It's just a round toe flat shoe. Um, the tan or light brown is what they're calling it. Eight and a half for eleven forty eight. And I just like a good flat sometimes. I don't really have a good flat right now. The flats that I did have, I've been wearing them to death. And they're literally worn out, which they were, you know, they were kind of like these. And they weren't expensive. These have got a nice grip on the bottom. Uh, oh, I thought that said a size 10. I was going to say, no way. And it's got a nice cushion. See that padding in there? Um, and this is suede. But um, these are just a nice flat. And um, I just, you know, I, I like I said, I usually buy them pretty cheap. And then I just wear them. I don't wear them if I'm going to do a lot of walking. My feet are too sensitive and painful for that. So um, I just get these just if I want a little flat with something or just going to run somewhere or do something. I got those. And then I did get a black pair. They're, the black was $10.48. I was just going to get the black, but then I saw the, that tan. And I was like, oh, I don't really wear much tan. So I went ahead and got them. So I thought for 20 bucks. Two pairs of shoes. That's not bad at all. And they're also suede. And they've also got the nice um, bottom. They're not going to slide. And they both fit. Like I tell you, get the size. Get the measurement of your foot. Mine's 9.9. .9. And whatever shoe I get in a 9.9 or a size 9.9. .9. Now, that's not like a 9.9 9 .9, like size of shoe. That's a measurement. Um, that's the measurement they came up with. I mean, I don't know who did, but once I got that as my shoe size, I pretty much wear any shoe now. Cause I was going through where I'd get a shoe and it'd be too big or it'd be too small. And I was like, how am I going to know what's an eight and a half, a good eight and a half for me? I just figured it out. So sometimes, um, if you look at the measurements, um, sometimes it will tell you, um, like an eight and a half, but it'll be like a 9.7. Well, I know that'll be too small. And then I go up to a nine, a size nine. And it'll show the measurement 9.9. .9. So once you get that measurement down, guys, I guarantee you'll find your shoe. I mean, unless there's just something funky about the shoe. Like if it's a pointy toe or, you know, you may have an adjustment like that. But I haven't seen that. I am pretty much, um, if I stick with a 9.9, .9, I can wear any shoe they've got. Boot, high heel, flat heel, whatever it is. Um, let's see. And then I got, like I said, I've been the green tops, the green dresses, but I, I guess I must have seen it. I love the style. So that's probably it. I've been saving these bags because I'm going to do a lot of packaging up, you know, and send in this year. What is this dress? Oh yeah. I love this dress. This will be also in my try on. Um, very pretty. 
It looks lovely. It's got that right there in your waist. Now, it looks like it's see-through, guys, but really the material um, in, in close-up, you, like, you can see it, like, see how you can see the outside, like, the lighting, but it's not. You can't see it through it. There's a shorter sleeved, and then the bottom is just absolutely gorgeous. So, but this is just beautiful. I love this. Um, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, you'll see it on my try-on. I, I ought to try to get some of these Christmas stuff out there. So, if anybody's looking for a Christmas dress, um, yeah, I might do that try-on today. Because I got a lot of Christmas stuff in this haul. Not in this haul, but in my other hauls. Um, I do like to plus size in my dresses. Um, this is a 2X. It's a 16 because I seem to feel like their dresses are a little bit smaller. Um... Uh, that's just me, okay? I mean, you might get one. Um, I love the feel of this. And and it's not see-through, I guarantee you. And the bottom especially isn't. You've got so much material here. You've got... You've got the skirt, and then you've got this overlay. So you definitely can't see anything. I'm trying to see what the material is. Um, 95 polyester and 5% spandex. And it does have a stretch. So really, I mean, it's like a comfortable, a beautiful dress, but very, it'd be very relaxing, very comfortable to wear. All right. Now, since I have been getting these dresses, I went ahead, I have not wore a slip or bought a slip in, I don't know how long. I have slips, but they're as old as I am. <laughs> And I don't even know if I can wear them. They were probably back in the day when I was like, teeny tiny. Now I'm good, big, and strong. <laughs> I'm all grown up now. <laughs> but I got these slips. And I know some of you guys are like, hey, me, people don't wear slips anymore. But sometimes with these nicer dresses, I like to have a little something underneath. I'm just weird like that. Go ahead. Call me old. I don't care. Um, but these are exactly the way I remember them back in the day. <laughs> Little slip. I don't know. Some people might wear them. But they got the little eyelet at the bottom. I love that. And I think a slip underneath a dress makes you just feel a little bit more dressier. Um, this is like, the feel is like back in the day. I mean, it's the same slip that I remember mom buying me at Kmart or wherever we used to go. Uh, I got an extra large 100% <coughs> polyester. And it is like just the old time slips. Um, I got an extra large, but I kind of wish I would have got a large. Um, I, I haven't tried them on yet. I mean, it'll be fine, but, um, I just kind of like my slips to fit me a little bit more firm, firmly or how, snugly or however you want to call that. But, um, the extra large is fine. So if you get your normal size, um, but I would recommend, um, Hold on a minute. What is... Oh, it was tucked under. I was like, oh, no. I, my slip part was tucked under right here. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's got some static. But um, if you get... Like, say, if you wear a large, you get a large. You're going to be fine. But um, I'm one of those... I like my tops big. I like my pants, you know, a little on the bigger side, but not too big. And I like for underneath garments to fit me just right. Oh, that'd be some... So, here's this one. And so, I thought while I'm getting them, I'm going to go ahead and get me a beige. I got a beige, black, and a white. And there's the white. And they weren't bad, guys. Oh, my gosh. I think these prices were the same prices as what I remember buying them a long time ago. Um, they were all the same price. $7.97. Then I got um, one piece to do notepad list. Daily task list planner. Oh, yes, I can read. Yes, Santa Claus, I went to school. Uh, $3.21. And it's like a little to-do list. And you could get it. I remember I got it in purple. I love this purple color. And that is a... There. Um, but it's just got this little cover. And I love to-do lists. I ha I write to-do lists on everything. But I'm going to start trying to do it on more of a 
a notepad. And then the back is hard and solid. Um, hold on just a minute. Honey, I'm videoing. So there's a to-do list. And then women's metal decor chunky low heel shoes. If you go on there now, they are $20.98. I got the black in an eight and a half. And they look like this. I thought these looked really nice. I wish this would have been black because, but I mean, it don't look bad. I mean, it looks stylish, but, um, and the bottom is not slip. You won't slip on those. The heel is a non-slip. So you just slip them on and <laughs> Bear can hear his daddy coming in. He's sitting in there making all kinds of noise. The hardware is um, a gold and it's not like, like a fake gold. You know how they like that fake bright gold? It doesn't look like that. These look like a very expensive shoe. <clears throat> and these shoes came in a nice box. My other shoes just came in like a little baggy. And then I got this um, backdrop for when I um, move into my jewelry room. I, um, I've got one now that's got like the uh, Hello Gorgeous. But um, I saw this one. And I thought this was cute. I mean, it's kind of got the same theme, you know, it's kind of like glittery, like you got glitter, but it looks like this. So, oh wait, I wasn't gonna open it up all the way because I'll never get it folded, but it looks like that. So I just thought that looked kind of fun. And when I start doing my videos in there, I can change back and forth from this backdrop to my other backdrop. If I choose to do so. All right. Let's see. I'm going to put you guys on hold for a minute and say hi to Jeff. And I, oh, yeah. And that backdrop, did I tell you guys that was $4.94? All right. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. I just wanted to end this video with, um, you know how you can play the games on their fish land and farmland? Well, Whenever I played the game, I got this really nice laptop bag or purse. It's got the little handle right here, and it's got these straps right here. Really nice, and I think it's got the crossbody. Let me check. I can't remember what this one does. It's got a nice zipper on top. Yep, it's got a crossbody. It's got um, this side, and then a middle separator, and then this side. Um, it's got little pockets. Over here, there's the inside there, and a zipper on this side. The hardware is gunmetal. I love when they put the black with the gunmetal. Um, there's no zipper on the back over here. Let me see if this is a fake zipper over here. Yeah, this is just, oh no, you can put a little something in there. Um, whenever I have little pockets like that, I always put like tissue or... Um, um, like chapstick. I don't know if my glasses would fit in there. Oh yeah, you could put a, an extra pair of glasses in there because I'm always wearing readers and um, Jeff is always needing a pair too sometimes when we go out. So that pocket's nice, but this is a very nice, um, I call it a laptop bag because I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to see if my laptop will fit in there, but nice material. I mean, really nice. Um, it smells nice, doesn't have any smell or anything, but that was that, and I got this for free for playing the game. Then, along with that purse, I got these socks. There's the gray black and this pretty mauve color, and then solid black. And then white and a mustard, which I think these feel really nice. Um, they're not really that thin. I mean, they're a nice feel to them. So yeah, and they're pretty soft. They're kind of like a, a nylon sock, but I like these kind. So that came with that bag. And then it said pick a free item. 
my free gift. I got these sponges. I always like getting these for free because then I don't have to buy them at the Dollar Tree. So I got these for free for in my kitchen to wash my dishes. And let's see, I got a few more things in here. And um, when I sell my earrings, I'm, I got these for free. These are little, um, they call them craft. They call them craft. You can use them as a craft, but they got the little holes in them to where you can put little earrings in them. So I'm going to put little earrings in them and then sell them on these cards, which I think they look really cute. They look, um, you know, just like a crafty, like a, I don't know, like a hometown made craft. But I got those for free. And then I got these, I think these are Burstone. They're 12 pairs Burstone earrings. Um, I got those for playing a game for free. And then these are also Burstone earrings, but they're a little bit bigger. I'll get emerald out here in a minute. And then the teeny tiny Burstone earrings. I got those. So the teeny tiny, just in case you want the measurements, is a 3mm the next size is the 5mm and the 7. So that'd be the next up. Just in case, so you'd see about what size they are. And let me just, I got enough time. I'll show you the um, threes. I'll get my burst stone out. Oh gosh, these are very small. Small but really pretty. I have um, three three holes over here on this ear and only two over here. There's a story behind the third hole, but I'll have to share it to you with you one time. Um, but up here on the third one, I like like this small, this really small earring, and these would be perfect for that. Let me get these back in here. I'm gonna put these in a little baggie so I don't lose them because this bag just busted on me. I don't want to lose them. They're so little. But um, here's how little they are. They come all individually in these little bags. Which is nice. You could give them as a gift like that. But there. There's the emerald. So you can kind of get, see how small they are. But it would be perfect in that little hole. So I like these. Um, these are something cute you could give as gifts. Um, you send a birthday card and put these in there. Um, be really cute, especially if you knew if they like gold or silver. <clears throat> I think all they offered in these were the silver, because I probably would have got each gold and silver. And then this little cute purse, I got this for playing a game. Um, it's one of those that you put your cell phone in. And I like this one because it zips your phone in there. And this is one of those where you can touch and leave it in here. You can, you know, work your phone without getting it out. And that's just paper. And a, but there's that. Okay. Put that back in there. I just thought this was really cute. I mean, especially if you're going to go Christmas shopping or if you're going to go see the Christmas lights or go out with someone, you know, you don't have to. Ooh. I don't want that paper to mess up my zipper. Hold on. Let me just keep it out. I'm just going to keep the paper out. Or I'm going to mess up my zipper. Okay. And then, let's see. Then you got this other zipper part. That you can put your um, credit cards in. Your license. Um, you could drop some other stuff in here. I mean, it's... Pretty, I mean, I think I could even put some chapstick. Got a lot of room in there. Um, but it's good. And then it's got the little slots on this side, on this side. It's got the zipper thing here, which I said I don't really care to use a zipper. I might put, you know, if you want to carry some cash, I probably would put it in the zipper part because you don't really have a cash, cash slot like you normally do. So I might put, like, my cash in there if I wanted to. But, um... But yeah, it's really nice. And I love the inside. I love that pink in the inside. And then you've got, I was trying to see if there was any other place. But then you've got the, you can carry it on your shoulder. You can carry it crossbody. It can make this bigger for crossbody. But this is like the perfect little, you know, 
running, doing errands, or going shopping, or going out for coffee or whatever. Um, we take Bear to do his canine trainings, and I just might throw my phone in there and just take some other stuff, and that would be all I would need. And then again, if you have already have something that you carry your phone in, because I carry my phone in this little thing right here. So, I mean, you'd have to carry both, so you might as well just put your phone in there. But if you didn't want to care, or if you didn't want to, or if you didn't care to carry both, then you could put something else there in the front and use this like a little wallet. But um, I think that would be too much for me. I'd be trying to keep track of two things. So I would just put it down in here and off I go. So, yep, I kind of like this. And it was free. How much more can you ask for? It's free. All right, guys. I'm going to take off. I'm going to go see what's up with Jeff and let my dog in. And I don't think it started raining yet. We haven't got any snow yet. I don't know if it's snowing where you are, but we haven't got any snow yet. But um, Jeff said he saw some snow about an hour or about two hours away from here. So more north than what we are. All right, guys, put a smile on your face. Put a smile on somebody else's face. It's a win-win situation. Who wouldn't want to live in a better place where we're all smiles with Santa earrings and a little baby Christmas tree? I know I do, and I know you do too. All right, guys, stay, um, or be kind, stay humble. Until next video, God bless. Bye.